The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Broncos and the Bills, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 23. Playoff fever has come to upstate New York, and there's a look at Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Time to see if the game plan this offense has put together will be successful or not as they take over here early in this first quarter of play. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. They proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. But things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. That is caught at the seven. And yeah, the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. It's larger been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is when you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. From a yard out, 
And the Broncos will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. from the red zone now. Allen on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To the air. Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And he's brought down his second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Singletary will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. So partner is a passing game that drove him down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs coming up here this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter from midfield here's Allen escaping the pressure right nothing open down Just inside of two minutes for this offense, second quarter. They've got the football, but on their own side of the field. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gain in his sights, but he did not reel it in. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And quickly, they get to the line. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got a man complete. And all the way home for a Bronco score. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Broncos will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive. A red 
red zone alert. Let's jump back in here. First and 10 at the 16. Touchdown! A 16-yard touchdown. And the Broncos have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre And now this offense is going for it on fourth down as the defense up to the challenge. Time to find out. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Got to say, Charles, a little surprising to have a kick this short blocked. Usually that happens on the longer ones, but great job by the special teams to kind of sift through there and get a hand on it. Yeah, you've seen a lot of football over time, partner, and you're right about it. Typically, the longer field goals start lower because they have so much more ground to cover to get to the post. And that's when you get a hand. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing. This offense, they've got a really nice drive going. And now it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. He'll look to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Bills are going to get the football back. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, listen, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. Buffalo set to get the football back here. If they want to... No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on the board. Now Allen, got to have this one. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And he is going to have the Bills first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. A well, field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing First call. Foul. Roughing the passer. Ethan. Unbelievable. Oh. A 
field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and as a result, their playoff run may end right here. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up on side. Here we go, here we go. Thank you, God, right? That one looks like he'll throw here. Throwing left side, it's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Okay, Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, like they this ball game still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stacked line of scrimmage and said, hey, it's better to try and throw than to try and run against it. In any event, I think you're exactly right. Now, the other team can pad their stats, but I don't think they're going to win. Yeah, but still, don't change the channel just yet. Allen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And some space here. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Saying their fans here are stunned would be an understatement. Things in this wild card round have not gone according to plan. to try again after the pick six. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Throwing on first down is Allen. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game.
and a wild card win moves them on to the divisional round. Everyone plays all year long for the right to get into the tournament, as they like to call it. Wild card, divisional, doesn't matter to them. One moves on, one goes home.